Before we begin, I made a podcast for a transfer guide to Chapman. However, the podcast is a longer comprehensive 20 minute video, whereas this video is going to be a little shorter to condense the information and include my personal perspective as well. For those who don't know me, my name is Justin. I'm an international student from Seoul, South Korea. Before transferring to Chapman, I attended UC Santa Cruz for two years. As I was applying to Chapman, I chose broadcast journalism and documentary as my first choice and film and media studies as my second choice because you actually get to rank two options. I was accepted to the documentary major. Okay, so first and foremost, the website um, says the average GPA was 3.92 for first year students admitted in fall 2023. Just so you know, I had a GPA that was slightly lower than that because at UC Santa Cruz, I took this, uh, I was, I think I had like, I think I had a B my, B my. It was a freaking cooking class. I was pretty shit at cooking and I ended up with like a B minus or something. Those stupid classes you have to take for general education. Test scores are obviously optional as well, but do submit AP scores if you have taken them. You need to submit a letter of recommendation and all of the other common app parts. I'm not gonna go through them because it's pretty intuitive. So the most important part of your application is going to be your creative supplement. Each Dodge College major requires a creative supplement in addition to your common app. If you choose, I believe, animation and VFX or film production, you have to submit an actual work according to the prompt they give. For example, if you're applying to film production, you have to submit a two minute short film as well. But for all other majors, your creative supplement will only consist of written parts. Okay, so the first part of your creative supplement is extremely important, it's an essay. I'm not gonna read the prompt, I'm gonna leave it here if you wanna freeze, but basically you have to write an essay about your distinct experience or background to show who you are excluding writing about your field of study. So nothing related to film. That is what the prompt is asking for you to do. I wrote my my essay based on my craving for apple pie when I had the first time when I was in America and how that relates to my academic, social life, and etc. I'm being serious. If you guys want to read my essay, feel free to message me on Instagram. The second part of the supplement is submitting a one-page creative resume where you just list the title of your recent works and a short description for each list. That's it. But make sure to follow the directions because they have a specific way they want you to format it. You could list a TikTok video or a YouTube video if you ever created one. That's what I did because I never made short documentaries or you know, a film ever in my life before coming to Chapman. I've only created content on social media. The last section involves writing a major requirement essay based on a prompt tailored to your selected major. Okay, so that was all to the supplement part of the whole application. I'm moving on to tips that could significantly help you with the process. Also, if you recently watched my other recent videos, I actually switched my major from documentary to film production as soon as I got here, which I will also get into because changing majors within Chapman requires a whole application process all over again. So when you're deciding on your major, make sure to select the major that you actually want to study. For me, I chose documentary as my first choice because I'm more interested in like real life stories. I was also ready in my second year of college at UC Santa Cruz and it was likely going to be my last chance to transfer and broadcast journalism and documentary is applied less commonly than film production, I would say. So you can connect the dots why I chose it. However, as stubborn as I could be when I got here, I began to realize that my passion was actually in cinematography. And the only major that teaches cinematography is film production. So right after I transferred into Chapman, I transferred out of documentary into film production, which also requires a whole daunting application process where you have to compete with other students who are also wanting to switch majors within Dodge and people who are not part of Dodge, like students who are undecided giving a shot at Dodge. Just aggressively and confidently choose the right major you are most confident and happy about learning. My weakness is being a little impulsive with my decisions and also making the wrong ones too. It bites me in the ass, but I love a challenging life brought by my poor decision-making skills. I'm just gaslighting myself. Secondly, show that you care. Show that Chapman University is your number one top choice. Follow their social media page. That's how I got to learn other opportunities to actually get Chapman to know that I am, you know, the student who actually want to get into Chapman. I was at UCSC when I was scrolling through Chapman's Instagram story when I saw that they were hosting a live event Q&A session for transfer students. I joined that live event when I also learned that they were hosting a one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting where you can sign up for, where you get to meet with a transfer advisor from Chapman. I signed up for that and met with one, and that's when I knew that Chapman was a school that actually cares. I wasn't even one of their students yet, and this advisor lady person went through my UCSC transcript and gave me all sorts of advice to make sure I had my application process going well. She was basically making sure I was doing everything right. And plus, I think I got a bonus point because I showed up with a button-down shirt with my hair done. And as soon as the Zoom call started and she saw me, I saw her writing down like notes. So she probably 
you know, wrote, oh, this person is not seeing me with his pajamas on. He must be serious. And my final tip has to do with essays. Make sure you are not overthinking and doing too much on these essays. I think they really want your honesty and simplicity. So don't write abstract shit like, oh, my camera's lens is aperture ring slowly opening to a lower number is like my I don't know, like my door to my creativity. None of that bullshit. I simply wrote that I wanted to pursue documentary filmmaking because as an international student who landed in America at a young age, I grabbed my trusty GoPro and started filming everything. It was like my way of uncovering why my parents had to send me across the globe for school on the other side of the world. Little did I know that simple camera became, you know, my my path, my, you know, my instrument for, you know, forging connections, discovering fresh passions, and ultimately helping me navigate my way through the new chapter of my life. Simple, honest, and pretty cute. Okay, so hopefully this video helps you with your application process. I could go on and on about why I think Chapman University's film school is one of the best in the country, but I'll make sure to show you why through my upcoming videos where I'll bring you through my days here at Chapman University and sharing what other students also have to think about the film school. Um, so make sure to look through my future videos if I, if I ever create them. So if you are wondering what life looks like for a film production major here at Chapman, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and share this video to your friend who may also want to apply to Chapman. I'll see you guys in another video.